welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i am not in blackpool in this video i am down the road in oh, southport yeah i'm just here in this car park uh, it's a field <laughs> that they turned into a car park massive event this is southport air show arguably bigger than blackpool in fact i think it is bigger than blackpool's really it's a bigger event takes place saturday and sunday not sure if it brings more people but it's a it's like a proper sort of air show where you have to pay if you want to get you know onto the, the main uh, beach part of the beach where the pier is and everything you do have to pay so that makes it quite different to blackpool whereas blackpool's air, air show is kind of more like an air display i suppose so the Southport Air Show is actually taking place a lot earlier this year than, than it normally does. I remember it used to take place in September, but we're now sort of mid-July. Anyway, we've just parked up in this field here and uh, we're going to head to the front and uh, it's around about half past ten and uh, we'll check out the Southport Air Show. Check out the big wheel over there. I've been on that, you know. Yeah, so we're here in Southport. And uh, let me know in the comments what do you think to the Southport Air Show. If you've been here, how does it compare to Blackpool? Is it bigger in terms of the show itself? Does it bring more people into Blackpool? Because I think when you think about Blackpool, Blackpool, oh my goodness, it doesn't half bring the people in the air show. But is the Southport event a bigger event? You're going to have to let me know. Pay to get in. Cost about £12. So, there you go, I'll show this here. Yeah, see my mate over there, he'll give you a stamp on the way out, and that allows you to get it sold out. Cheers, mate. Do you want it now? We just sold the program. Okay. Thank you. All right. For the first time, I am in the Southport Air Show. I have been here during an air show before, but this is the first time that I've actually paid to come in to the main, you know, the main part of the Escher where it's all enclosed. They've closed Marine Drive off, which is the, the main road along the front. That's all closed off. So we're now inside Southport Escher. Let's check it out. We've got lots of stuff going on here, of course. We've got the Army, RAF, of course. Duke of Lancashire, at Lancaster, should I say. Regiment just over here, we've got all the usual stuff you'd see. You'd normally see this in Blackpool, but you'd see it on the Tower Headland and the Comedy Carpet, but you don't have to pay to see that in Blackpool. You just walk onto the Comedy Carpet and they have all this stuff going on there. It's nowhere near as big, of course. This is going to be a massive area, this, but... Uh, well, this is how it looks anyway, at the start of the Southport Air Show. It's only half past ten. I'm not sure when the first planes are going to be uh, setting off, but uh, I'll bring all the action to you. And we'll also have the Red Arrows at around about tea time. Check this out, we've got a typhoon here that you can sit inside. The full-size model of a typhoon on the back of a truck there, look at that there. You can sit inside it. I don't think they had that at Blackpool, did they? This here, well, Blackpool's air show is in August, so well, you don't know. They might do. And uh, if you queue up, you have the chance to sit inside it. Quite impressive, really, isn't it? Yeah, this type of thing. Whether it was made specially for this or whether it's an old model, but uh, um, I'll tell you what, I'm just thinking back to April this year when I was in Houston, Texas, and I saw a 747 carrying the space shuttle. So as impressive as this is, I don't think anything's going to top that. Typhoon display team. And this is all the gear here. Yeah, look at that there. Look at that joystick there. It's a bit bigger than the one I've got on my... Uh, that I used to have on the... <laughs> Spectrum back in the olden days. That's a that's a proper joystick, that one, isn't it? And the display for the typhoon is at half past three. Check 
looking at. We're now on the main drag here. This is Marine Drive here, the promenade in Southport. We're looking towards Pleasureland over there. That used to be owned by uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I'm not sure if they're still on the land, actually, and they rent it out to the new uh, operators. But this is a look over the beach here. Look at this. You can drive on Southport Beach, but not today. Look at this now. We've got uh, the planes are going to be flying over here later. I'll bring you those a bit later on. Uh, what a view. The pier's closed, so you can't go on the pier. There's a pier there. It's a lot longer than the North Pier in Blackpool. That's a very long pier, isn't it? It's got a good arcade at the back there with loads of vintage games in it as well. So, uh, yeah, they're all going to be flying over here later on, and I'll bring you the action. Just got spotted by someone there, so... Hi to you if you're watching. First time I've... I said to my mate Frank, I'm with Frank in Blackpool today, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And uh, I said to him, I said, I wonder how long it would take before I get spotted. Anyway, just down here, they've got obviously got places to eat there. Look, they've got some guns over there, field guns. I wonder if they're going to be firing them later. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? There's a cracking view of Blackpool today as well on the other side of the pier. I'll see if I can bring that to you. But here's all the people here lining up. It's still pretty early yet for the planes. I will be bringing you them a bit later on, don't worry. I might show you a picture of Blackpool as well across the water. It's pretty spectacular, actually. So I've just come up the coast a little bit. It's a Sunday, by the way, when I'm filming this. It's uh, two days and I'm filming this on the Sunday. The pier is closed. Now, during previous Southport air shows, have you been allowed to go on the pier? Because if you look at that pier there, that is a double long pier, isn't it? You could get loads of people on there. Yet this year it's closed. So let me know in the comments if in the olden days it used to be open. I think it did. I think you used to be able to go on the pier. You can go on the Blackpool Pier, so the Blackpool Air Show. Anyway, if we go underneath the pier to the other side, we should be able to see Blackpool. Let's check it out. Well, it does make me feel a little bit like back home when you can walk underneath the pier. It's a bit easier to walk under Southport Pier than it is some of the Blackpool Piers. You take your life into your own hands. But I'm just looking towards Blackpool now. It should be somewhere over there. And it's, it's, it's underneath a cloud. It is completely obscured. I cannot see the tower at all. And yet on the way down, we can see the tower quite clearly. I'm going to have to wait for the tower to come back out and take a picture of it. I'll just show you this while I'm here. We've got a bridge over there that links up with the main road there. I think it's a Millennium Bridge, is it there? We've got a pub here, the Guild of Rose. And just over there, we've got KFC, we've got McDonald's and everything around here, all the usual stuff. And just look at this massive beach, yeah? I'm waiting for Blackpool to come back out so I can get a picture of it. It looks pretty spectacular from here, you know? Someone making an announcement now. I've given up on taking pictures of Blackpool for now until it clears up a bit. But I've just come down onto the beach. Look at all these people here on the seawall. Look at this. It's a pity it's not a stepped seawall like in Blackpool because you could plenty of seating on there. People are having to buy chairs and stuff like that. But uh, someone's just told me something which I didn't know. The pier is actually closed here in Southport. It's been closed since December 2022 over serious safety concerns. Does that mean that it's fallen to bits or what? I can't believe it. So there you go. I didn't even know that Southport Pier, the second longest pier in the UK after Southend Pier, has been closed since December 2022. I wonder if it'll ever reopen again. Right, I've given it a little while. I've come back to the other side of the pier again and uh, it's cleared up a bit over Blackpool. I can see Blackpool Tower and the, the big one roller coaster. Spectacular views of Blackpool from here in Southport. And you can even see the Lake District as well. I'm going to show you a picture that I took oh, ages ago here at the air show when I was here. Oh, it must be ages ago. Check this out. We've got a helicopter picking someone up off the beach. And you can see the Lake District in the background. It looks absolutely amazing. Check it out. I just got spotted again there by some fans. 
And uh, as we look across here now towards Blackpool, there you go. Look at that, can you see it? Blackpool Town. Let's zoom in using this camera here, shall we? Check it out, we've got the big one there now. What a view. Can you see anyone on it? Can you see it going up the uh, up the lift hill? We've got the ice blast there as well. That's not working at the moment, is it, the ice blast? Anyway, let's have a look at the tower, shall we? Okay, here we go, Blackpool Tower. Look at that. What a view. Just look at that, we're right in on Blackpool Tower now. Well, it's half past one and we've got the first aircraft here. It's a flying boat. Catalina. Look at that. Right over the pier. There you go, that's the first aircraft. Of the Southport Air Show. I tell you what, look at all these people now. We've got a jet. I think it's a vampire. Now, just look at all the people now we've got here compared to what it was before. It's now just after half past one. Here we go. Look at this now. It is packed here in the Southport now. As we have this jet flying around. I think it's called a vampire. Look at that there. Yeah. Hey, they come pretty close. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed uh, against Blackpool is that they do come pretty close here in Southport. This plane here is flying pretty much overhead. So we're in the middle of July. And look at me, I have got, I've had to do my coat up, unbelievable, it's freezing today, we've had rain, it's, it's ridiculous isn't it, this weather, where's this global warming, anyway I'm going to turn the camera around now because we've got a swordfish, black cats and a wasp coming in, check this out, I'll turn the camera around, oh it looks spectacular, look at this now. Look at these. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful uh, colour schemes on these aircraft. 
across as well. You wouldn't play the new Yeah, but we're listening to the copy anyway, then she was going to have a mix. Play team at the moment. I thought you'd give you a little look around on the beach. So, just back here is where I've been sat. Look at all these people here. Look, Southport Air Show. At least the weather's cleared up a little bit. It's, it's dried up now, as it was a little bit drizzly when the display started, but uh, it's cleared up quite a bit now. Yeah, that's good. It's just got some really bad news, the typhoon, we were not expecting the typhoon now, but unfortunately uh, the pilot of the typhoon's taken ill, so we're not going to get a typhoon today folks. Uh, Hopefully we'll see it at Blackpool next month, but uh, for the Southport Air Show day two, no typhoon. So anyway, we've still got the red arrows to come, so that's something to look forward to. Well, that was the second to last flame we had there, a jet. Not quite as loud as a typhoon. But next, we've got the main event, what everyone's been waiting for, the Red Arrows. Oh, 
display the 60th anniversary as well from here in Southport. A little bit disappointed we didn't get the time through but it's been a great show today and the weather got better as it went along. It's still not that warm though. I've got, I've got my coat on it <laughs> in the middle of July. It's unbelievable. I've brought you what I can of the action and that was it for the Southport air show is now on to Blackpool in August. How will Blackpool compare? Well hopefully we'll have the typhoon but we've got a we got a good look at the red arrows out here at Southport. If you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. Please don't leave any rubbish lying around. Please take that with you as well.